Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Angry Joe and Other Joe here. Uh, we're still in Sweden and we're putting up some trailer reactions while we're gone. Uh, we'll be back soon. And uh, Wonder Woman has a final trailer out. So we've done a lot on Wonder Woman. I think you guys know our opinion on Wonder Woman. We're excited. We're nervous. We want it to be good. And recent uh, trailers have been good. Yeah, they, they, have. they were shitty at first. That's then why they I were don't want to see anymore. Because I, I know you don't want to see anymore, but <laughs> fucking Joe, we're going to check this out. But then, All right. if it ruins it, aye, it's going to ruin my movie ain't experience. Gonna, ain't going to ruin your movie. <laughs> it might. Okay, here we go. Full trailer. Uh, what is this, 19 hours ago? Oh, this is rather recent. We might put this up right now. Right uh, right. Or, or, you know, before we leave. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, jeez. Right into the action. It's probably the five-second bit. Yeah. June 2nd. Diana. Our fucking boots I look awesome. Make you a hero. Okay, I'm a man, and I want to wear those boots. <laughs> I'll get to... Uh, I'll buy you a costume like that. No, 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 thanks. Why not? <laughs> wear it to the movies. Yeah, I'm going to make you wear it, Joe. <laughs> Be careful of mankind. It's gotta, it's you gotta, gotta be look careful. that good. It's gotta look that good. I'm fucking worried. <laughs> <laughs> look at that shit. I do not deserve you. You've told me this story. You've told me they, they sound Scottish. Story. You've told me this story. story. Irish or Scottish? Kind, Diana. What the hell are you doing, woman? You're out there on the fucking battlefield for what purpose? Keep going. You don't stop in the middle of machine gun fire. What is this place? Who are you people? We are the bridge to a greater understanding. Right. What is your mission? <laughs> well, here's the thing. You are in more danger than you think. The boys in the trenches called her Dr. Poison. Dr. Millions Poison. would die. The war would never end. I'm going. And they believe him, of course, because they got the last of truth. Return. Who will I be if I stay? If I stay. Got the, the, the heavy accent, but she should have an accent because it's Amazonians. Now, what Amazonians sound like? I, I don't know. To the war. Well, technically, the war's that way, but we got to go this way first. <laughs> How can a woman fight in this? Ooh. Who is this young woman? She's my, um, and, um... That's gonna look so cool. Diana. Curse! She snaps that gun. Diana Prince. Oh, fuck. If you believe that this war should stop, help me stop it right now. World War One, right? What? Yeah. Oh, you. You will soon find out. Ooh. Wait, what? Did you, is that was that the same scene? Yeah. Find out. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Holy shit. That's it. That's it. No more. No more WB. That's it. That's it. You said final trailer up here. It says final trailer. You can't see it. It's right here, right above there. Don't show no more. Because that's it. That's good. <laughs> you said. That's good. You know, uh, man, a lot of action, a lot of good scenes, fucking, you know, superpowers. Uh, at some point, she gains flight or uses off her flight uh, at, over here. Uh, we saw her do that in a different trailer. Um, you know, what are her origins? Uh, I don't know what they're going to go with here. I'm going to assume that they're going to go with the daughter of Zeus to sort of explain uh, a lot of her powers. Uh, and... We, we're we're going to see some flashback scenes of, you know, their island when she's a little girl growing up as, as a princess. 
So hopefully that will connect with little girls in the audience so that they will have a role model to look up to, a superhero to look up to. And, and, and how awesome is it that it just so happens that the superhero that the little girls in the audience look up to become one of the most badass hand-to-hand -hand fucking fighters. Wonder Woman is in the shit. She's not back there. She's not a fucking healer. She's not a fucking support class. Wonder Woman is in there juggernaut. with the boys. She's got none of the weaknesses of Superman. She's got the skills of Batman in terms of fighting. So I'm just so happy that little girls now are going to be able to have a role model of their own. And, of course, guys, because obviously I'm a huge fan of Wonder Woman uh, ever since the animated movie, which you guys need to see, 2009 DC Animation, top quality stuff. In that animated movie, uh, the villain was Ares and not uh, these World War I Dr. Poison and poison. this poison and this German guy who looks weak as fuck. Uh, so, I, I think in, in fandom, I want a better villain than what I've seen in the trailers. So, I hope they're hiding something. Yeah, he's going to transform into a bigger <laughs> boss. He's going to transform into Ares? Oh, yeah. Watch. The God of War? Watch. I don't know. I, I, like, what is this poison? <laughs> but even if you don't get the villain right or we don't get an epic villain where Wonder Woman can show off her powers because Wonder Woman is powerful, man. You know, she's powerful. You know, She's up there with Superman grades. So you can't give her villain Dr. Poison this chick with fucking gas and this guy, right? So I'm really hoping that there's something there. We've, I think there were teases at uh, uh, Lego figures that we're seeing, that, you know, po potentially that there is another person in there Aries, but how long is he in there? Is it just something that teases the next Wonder Woman if we get a Wonder Woman? But uh, so that's the only thing that I'd be worried about. But because it is an origin story, quite clearly an origin story, and we've got uh, Trevor here, uh, it, 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 there's probably not a whole lot of time for that. And and maybe they're trying to set it up right where they get a, a good sequel where she can head off, you know, fight somebody at her power level. But so as long as they get this right, man, there's so much writing on this because it was WB, in fact, and a bunch of other studios that, that essentially said, you know, a female superhero cannot work. You're not going to, you know, it's not going to work. Nobody's going to go watch a female-led superhero film. And they didn't want to do it. And they told Josh, Josh they told Josh Whedon that they didn't want to do it. You know, because Josh Whedon wanted to do Wonder Woman long, long ago. And they said, it's not going to sell. Nobody's going to go watch it. And <clears throat> and then they were proven right. And they got to be hoity-toity. They were like, ha -ha, see what I can tell you. When Catwoman came out, when Elektra came out. But those <laughs> movies were fucking garbage. Halle Berry? Yeah. <sighs> like one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. That's how bad it was. And... Uh, so the movie studio executives in the suits were like, ha-ha, look at us. We fucking we knew it, you know? And they, and they smell it, you know, because they're fucking assholes. So there's so were much. You there? Yeah, I was there. I was in the boardroom when <laughs> they did that. And, I w and so there's so much writing on this because uh, I, want, I want girls to have their own, uh, you know, superheroes to look up to and, and just grow this fandom and, the, and this base because – you get the guys in and you get the girls in, boom, your movie's going to be super successful. So, but, but it makes me nervous because it's coming from DC first. You know, normally Marvel's been kicking these things out yeah. the park, just one right after the other. We gave Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 a 10 out of 10. And so I'd rather see it from Marvel first, but DC is doing it first. And they're doing it <laughs> with one of my favorite female superhero of all time. So it makes me incredibly nervous. They're starting out with their biggest. You fuck up with the biggest. The yeah. next movie I want to see is the Wonder Twins. <laughs> yeah. Then That's they're going to be doing Wonder Twins from here on out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this needs to do well. And hopefully it, it, it like will it do is. well. It's it does look like it is. Trailers. Right. Um, Not too much given away. So mm -hmm. Exactly. Happy I'm with that. Happy with that. So maybe this will stop DC's slide and will show that DC can make a good movie uh, w without so many goddamn problems and, and too dark and not understanding their superheroes. Like, you know, uh, and, and, and it's always like alternate universe versions yeah. of their superheroes. Like, they're so fucking scared to show us what we grew up with, where Marvel embraces what we grew up with and, t and amps it up to fucking 12. 
Um, but we'll see. So uh, I have nothing but love uh, for this. Now, obviously, and, and when Gal Gadot was initially announced, I thought that she was yeah, completely no wrong love. for the part. No love. No love for Gal Gadot. <laughs> and I got to say, um, you know, uh, at least from, from what I'm here, I'm encouraged. I can't give you the final verdict because we want to see the film first. But I think that she will probably end up proving me wrong. Yeah, r proving me wrong. Um, you know, so we'll see. So, all right, guys, that's my opinion. Go. I'm still going to go watch it. Looks great. Nothing yep. was spoiled. So Nothing was spoiled. I'm glad. Go. Was, it, yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't, like, this ain't Batman vs. Superman or Spider Man or something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just gave like us more actions action. out of context. So it was fine to watch it. All right, guys, so we'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. Let's go.